Hey, right, I'm back. Um, oh, I'm being really quiet. I'm back. Um, and I'm gonna do another snail video about setups and stuff. Um, because I just picked up like four new snails, and um, so I need to do the setups and figure that out for a bit. Um, because I didn't intend on getting them, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So let's get started. So as you can see, Darwin wants to go home, but um. This is how I've done the tank. I added another hide because I'm adding another snail. Um, this is not going to be their permanent tank. This is temporary while I'm looking for a big, like, exoterra to have as a community tank for my snails. And he is not huge, as you can see, and neither is the one going in with him. So this is their food dish, and this is their water dish, and then they've just got double hides. It's basically the same setup Darwin always has, just with an extra hide. So I'm going to put Darwin in here really quick. I will be putting food in. Okay, and I'm gonna add this snail in. So she is a Jadatsi and I have named her Persephone. Um I am waiting on a Fullica normal and his name will be Hades, so they will be a pair. But for now, Persephone is gonna live with Darwin. So they're a really similar size, so I thought they'd be perfect to live together. So we'll see how that goes. And this is my second temporary tank. So these two over here are mine, and this one is just a foster until it can get to a friend of mine's house. But as you can see, not much is set up because this is what I picked them up in. So I'm going to set that up and then I'll show you. Okay, all set up. So again, this one isn't staying. Um, this is a friend of mine's. And this is the setup so far for these guys. So this is Gygax, and he is a Rodatsy. This is my second Jadatsy, and she doesn't have a name yet. So I've put the big piece of cuttlefish in here because these guys have been eating it like crazy. They must be getting shell growth. So that's the setup. I haven't put a water dish in there yet, but I probably will. Um, yeah. Then the final snail is of course Merlin. I'm going to chuck this food because it's not nice and he does need new cuttlefish he is under the spoil right now because i saw him earlier so i know where he is so i'm just gonna tidy this now merlin is also a rodatsy like gygax but he is a baby like the others i am gonna replace his food um, but that's about it for merlin now for the biggest job is cleaning out and checking for eggs in the millipede tank um, they're not gonna like this, they hate when I disturb them in the day, so here goes nothing. Okay, I checked for eggs, no eggs. Um, I cleaned it up. I added like a new hide and stuff, but they don't usually use hides that are intentionally for hiding. They just kind of use cork bark. They use this all the time. They're both under there right now. Um, I've had this tunnel thing in there. For a while they don't use it, they go through it, but they don't sleep in it. So I've dug it down deeper so they'll feel like they're really tunnelling in there. And I've used this hide, it's a reptile hide, but I've really squished it down and I've put this cork bark in front of the doorway so they feel like they're pushing their way through. And I think they'll enjoy that more. Um, I've got their food dish in there and I've got their water dish in there because they do actually use it. So other than that, it's pretty much the same, I've just moved things around a little. With the light on it's much better to see the setup so you can see like that's really low down and um, it's really messy in there like down here and stuff but they're currently asleep under there i won't disturb them because they get really upset about it um but yes yeah, so i tried to disguise that as much as possible to make it seem like they shouldn't go in there because then they'll want to um, and I think that might convince them, so I might keep you updated on that. So I'm just going to mist it down a bit more. They've already got veggies from last night that I put in. Um, they can have those. So I'm just going to close the doors. Oh, I'm actually going to clean these doors while I'm here. I'm also just going to quickly toss in some leaf litter um, for extra nutrients. So I put leaf litter in here just sitting on top and I put some in that hide to try and encourage them and some in here um, so that's that okay so it's actually a day later I did feed them some protein yesterday so I will put the video in here
feeding time is extremely chaotic now. <laughs> I was just kind of like busy in my own world feeding them so I didn't think to film. But they're doing great. Um, they seem to be fine in general. Um, they do need better setups, um, which I'll, I'll show you their setups right now. So this one's Persephone. Um, she's living with Darwin right now. So it's just Darwin's usual setup from the last video. And then in here, this is just a box I got on Amazon. And we have three in here. This is a foster. And then I have two in two of these younger ones, which are mine. And it's just a bit filthy in there. They, they spent one night crashing around in there and it's already a mess. Um, and then there's Merlin's tub, obviously. So it's just your usual snail setup. They will be upgrading to a proper like big exoterra. Like I'll show you my millipedes right now. So this is my millipede tank. It's just like a large exoterra. So um, I don't, the original plan was getting one of these um, and having them all live in there like a communal tank. But I've actually decided on getting a couple of exoterra 45 by 45 by 45s and having them split into threes. So even though one of them is a foster right now, when the foster leaves, I'm gonna be getting another snail of my own, um, a normal full of cur, cause it's the only color I'm missing. <laughs> um, so there will still be six. So I will have three in each tank. I'm probably, well, I was originally gonna house my next snail, which will be called Hades, with Persephone and with um, Xanthi because they obviously all have Greek names. And then in the other one, I was just gonna have Darwin, Merlin and Gygax. But um, I kind of want the colors to be more mixed up. So if I house Persephone and Xanthi together, I'm gonna have two Jodatsis and then I'll have Gygax and Merlin together and they're two Rodatsis. But I would rather have like a normal Jodatsi and Rodatsi in one, a Jade Rodatsi and Jodatsi in the other. So I can have three different colors in each tank. So I'm probably gonna end up housing um Hades and Persephone and then I'll probably have Merlin live with them and then in the other tank I'm probably going to have Darwin, Gygax and Xanthi so that's the general plan for now um this is like a mini vlog of this week so of getting them um so I am planning on trying to get one on Facebook so you might see me at least set up one tank in this video we will see um but yeah we'll see how today goes okay it's actually later on but i'm looking at the clips and realizing that i gave no context to the following clips um so i'll explain it now i ended up getting a garage shelving unit um for my bedroom to hold my tanks um so the next few clips you see is just me like showing the shelving unit and the tanks and you'll notice that in one of the clips, Merlin is in Darwin's tank, little Merlin. Um, and that is because I ended up getting a 45 by 45 by 30 exoterra. And four of the snails are in there, the larger ones. And then Merlin and his new friend Hades are in the other one. Are in like Darwin's old one. And they look really cute in there because they're tiny. Um, so the babies are separate still from the adults, but... The other four of them are all living together in an exoterra, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but I got from like a pet store. I didn't end up getting one on Marketplace. Um, I prefer to because I prefer to get secondhand, but it was fine. I had the money for it, so I was like, I'd rather upgrade them as soon as possible because their tanks aren't really great for what I need at the moment. Um, so yeah, next few clips are the shelving unit. And the snail's kind of enjoying their time and there are a couple clips of my dog realising that I have snails because she never noticed when they were on the high desk but now they're on the shelves and they're at her eye level now she knows they're there. So that's that. Okay so here I'm just setting up my shelving unit and the tanks and everything. This is what it ended up looking like at first. Of course these tanks change um, and I get an exoterra for the snails eventually. So here's Merlin in um, Darwin's old tank and he did eventually get a buddy in there. Um, 
This is the them in the exit terror. I'll try and get a bit of picture of it and edit it in edit it in, in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is them just ignoring the new exit terror. The four big ones, like I said, are in there. Um, and the two babies are in Darwin's old tank at the moment. It looks super dark in there. I did end up getting a lighting fixture. Um, because I was like, I can't see my snails. <laughs> so I did end up buying a light for them. Here's, um, Martha, my dog realizing that I have snails. Now, I would never trust a dog 100% with an animal, but um, I did have a hold of her collar and she's very trustworthy of other animals because she's actually quite wary. Um, she's not like a dog that will try and eat everything. She just kind of wants to stare at it and wonder what it is. And she kept scratching at the front of the tank trying to tell me to open it again, but um, it? I had to tell her off for that because she was going to scratch my tank. But she had a great time nosing at them and she still <laughs> goes and lies down and watches the tanks. So here's Merlin coming out of his hide and um, Hades, our newest one, eating his food. And this is when I got Hades home at first. Okay, here's a picture of the tank and kind of a video showing what the setup looks like with a sneak peek of my new member of the family. That'll be in the next video. I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I'm going to try and post more and more videos now and like I said the next video coming up is going to be a really exciting one and I'm going to get editing that soon. So thank you so much, please do make sure you check out my Instagram and everything and I will see you in the next video, thank you.